So, five members have recently announced their departure from the Lifesteal SMP. Recrap, Parrot, It Subs, Pofa, and now me. And I'm gonna get really straight to the point in this video. Um, no, there's no big drama going on, at least within Lifesteal at the time of recording this. I, I don't know. Each of us five members have our own reasons for why we're leaving. Um, but it's not quite my position to provide details on them because, uh... Well, that's just not for me to tell. This video is meant to address why I left the Lifesteal SMP and what's gonna happen moving forward for my channel and also like a bit of the Lifesteal SMP. I mean, of course there's so much that I don't know that Lifesteal doesn't know that we all don't know, but I'm just gonna speak my mind, I guess. So why have I chosen to depart from the Lifesteal SMP? And I'll start with this. I remember I streamed on my mom's birthday this past year. My sisters were both in college, and while my mom blew out her candle with my dad downstairs, I was playing and streaming a Tubnet event for $5,000. Um, I ended up winning the event, but I went to bed that night really bitter, questioning if it was really worth it to play in that event. I know content creation is a dream job for so many people out there, and I, I am so lucky to have the platform I have. Um, but the truth is that the people around me are growing up and growing old. I'm growing old. My parents, sorry if you're watching this, are getting old. And I would hate to look back and regret not spending more time with them. And it's not just family. I enjoy the presence of others and making connections. So when the pandemic first came along and everyone was forced to be locked up in their rooms, I turned to content creation and connected with people. I connected with creators, I made new friends, I created a community. And it was amazing. It is amazing. I wouldn't have had it any other way. However, it's been around two to three years since the pandemic ended. And being the social guy I am, about a year ago I started feeling iffy about being a content creator in the long run. It's a job that requires me to not just be indoors, but in my room, at my computer, for hours every single day. And from experience, socializing in person just feels better to me. I know that may not be the case for many, but for me, I just don't want to feel constrained to my bedroom. This is also a job that has required me to face being doxxed, uh, to face haters, and that's not very nice and cool, but then again, I'm stronger than I ever would have been without them. So in sum, reason number one of why I've decided to quit the Lifesteal SMP is that it requires time and dedication that I feel I cannot commit over the liminal time with my family and desire to explore and succeed in a life beyond the bedroom. The online world also works in really weird ways, in the sense that it's really difficult, or at least I find it's really difficult, to actually know who you're talking to, who you're playing with. Literally as I'm writing this, some new drama came out with Wilbur Soot, a creator who I'm sure many of us were fond of back in the day, and being the social guy I am, I don't enjoy the constraints of knowing people in the online world. I think we all put a lot of trust kind of too much trust even, in creators, in influencers. I think everyone's got to think a bit more critically about the masks of the online world. These masks that the online world allow us to wear are great in the sense of providing privacy and comfort. However, it's also these masks that result in the MCYT community tearing each other apart practically every month or like week. I feel like I gotta take a big step back and really think about where I want to place myself in all of that. What type of presence and position do I want to place myself in in the online world? I don't want it to seem like I hate the MCYT community or I hate being a content creator, that's simply not true. You all are some of the most talented, creative, and genuinely smartest people I know. Lifesteal members very much included. I also wouldn't have been doing content with Lifesteal SMP for three years if I didn't enjoy it. So as for what remains after this point. Lifesteal has launched a public Minecraft server called Lifesteal Network. There's this little quote thing I made up. 
From a private server for us Lifesteal members to tell our stories, to a public server for you all to tell yours. The IP is in the description. All the gameplay you've been watching in this video is from the server. So go check it out and maybe make some epic videos on it. Personally, for the Vitality channel, I'm gonna take a break and go on a trip with a couple friends. And then I'm gonna go on a mother and son trip with my mom. I love you, mom. I will miss you all. I'll post some more videos on this channel throughout the next two months. Um, and I have plans for the main channel too. Beyond that, I have things to figure out after I go on these trips and really spend time to enjoy and give back to the people who have been supporting me for the past many, many years of my life. Yes, this may arguably be the quote, end of an era for the Vitality channel because, you know, I'm leaving Lifesteal. And perhaps it may be the end of an era for Lifesteal itself with what people call like OG members leaving. But with every end is a new beginning. Treat it like that. Thank you for your support and go spend time with the people who love and support you. Really, thank you.